from San Francisco. This is Jane McNeil reporting for Elsevier Global Medical News. I'm at the 50th annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology. A plenary presentation Pritz offered encouraging results from the first clinical test of a new targeted agent for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Fostamatinib disodium is an oral available drug. There were responses seen in each of the three groups, and responses were based on a very strict uh, international criteria that required significant shrinkage of involved lymph nodes and other normalization of abnormalities that are associated with the tumors. 22% uh, of these heavily pretreated patients with aggressive lymphoma responded to this pill. 10% of patients with follicular lymphoma and over half of the relatively small number of patients treated with CLL responded to the treatment. I think perhaps most exciting about this type of targeted therapy is that it confirms the laboratory findings about the addiction to this B-cell receptor and that inhibition of this signal, this critical survival signal, does result in tumor responses and disease stability in a large number of patients. What is this agent? Um, it's a new targeted agent. Right. This is an example of a targeted therapy. This agent blocks a protein called SYK, S-Y-K, mm -hmm. which is an important protein that regulates a signal from the B-cell receptor to have these cells live. So the idea, if you block SYK, you prevent this survival signal, and that allows the cells to die. The thing about this that is quite exciting is that this is a relatively specific protein to B-cells, and the lymphomas that we're treating are specifically B-cell lymphomas. So we anticipate that this uh, inhibitor should have a very good outcome in these particular diseases. Um, what, now, you, you did a phase one and a phase two trial. Um, what kind of patients did you use? Did you t test this in? And um, what were your results? So this was the first set of studies in patients with cancer with this drug. This drug is a pill, and this drug is, in general, tolerated very well. We initially studied 13 patients in a phase one component just to verify that this was going to be a safe thing to do and to determine the optimal dose. All of the patients in both the phase one and the phase two components were heavily pretreated patients, refractory incurable lymphomas that had had a median of four prior chemotherapeutic regimens. So these were patients who were looking for new options and didn't have a lot of uh, standard options available. In the phase two component, we enrolled a total of 68 patients. These were divided in three different groups of various subtypes of lymphomas. We saw responses in all groups, but I think the most exciting evidence was in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, an aggressive lymphoma that's the most common lymphoma in the United States, where 22% of these heavily pretreated patients responded. And in addition, we saw some stability of disease in other patients. And similar exciting results in CLL, SLL, where in a smaller number of patients, 55% of them responded and additional patients have stable disease. Where does this research go from here? Obviously, it, it's not ready uh, for the FDA. No, we, yet. we have more work to do. This is our first experience, and I think uh, we're going to have very soon clinical trials designed to confirm these results in larger numbers of patients. But at the same time, we're really focusing in the laboratory on some correlative work to see if we can determine how the tumors of the patients who responded differ from the tumors in the patients who did not respond. And we actually have some early signals that we may be able to predict in advance which patients may be vulnerable to disturbing this pathway, and that could be very exciting for patients in the future.